good afternoon from Split. Split is uh, the capital of the Croatian coast, the largest town here, very beautiful old town within the uh, walls of the former Diocletian's <laughs> palace, the emperor of, um, of Rome from the 4th century. Lots of tourists, very loud, uh, and people usually completely not notice plants growing in the old town. So I wanted to show you a few useful plants um, which can be seen here. I will actually start uh, from the plant which gave the name to the city. Split is named after uh, the Greek word aspalatos, means spartium unceum in Croatian called Bernistra or Zuka. This shrub has uh, beautiful yellow flowers in summer. Actually, there is one flower still came up. Look. So in summer this whole shrub would be covered by yellow flowers and they probably grew here and they are common plants on the coast so they probably grew in profusion that's why the city was named and it's really nice that uh, in the main um, promenade by the sea you can find a few spartium shrubs now in croatia they are not really used much um, mainly for um, flowers are used for uh, sp like sprinkling during Corpus Christi processions but in the past this plant was used in in the south of Europe mainly for basket weaving. The most prominent feature of the promenade are palm trees. They are about a hundred years old and three species are here. Two tall species. One is um, Canarian date palm Phoenix canariensis with the pinnate leaves and the other with palmate leaves uh, with Washingtonia filifera from America um, and this one is from the Canary Islands. Uh, easy to distinguish between them although of course there can be more species of palmate leaves um, palms in, in Croatia but not that many because in this country even on the coast there are sometimes sometimes frosts, slight frosts, which damage a lot of species of palms. So there's only a limited number of palm trees which can grow here. And the third one is quite resistant, it comes from Europe. Um, let's find it. And the third one is um, uh, Hamerops humilis. It's a, it's a small palm. It can be distinguished from a similar species, Trahecarpus by the fact that this one is a bit that has a bit spiny leaf uh, leaf stalks so you can look at leaf stalks and easily identify it um, not a big palm but quite resistant um, you can compare the size this is the camerops and then the tall ones there the tall the tall palms are suffering here now because they are attacked by uh, red uh, uh, palm weevil an insect which came from South uh, East Asia and is destroying especially date palms which is a big problem uh, now in the Mediterranean and the Middle East um, and there are various measures uh, applied uh, for example you have to inject the palm tree a few times a year with pesticides which is of course not um, neutral to the environment It might surprise you, but the uh, fruits of the Camerops humilis palm is edible as well, similar to Phoenix and Washingtonia, and um, it, it, it hasn't got a lot of flesh, but it's sweet, it's pleasant, tastes like dates, uh, and you can just boil boil out the, the sweetness if you were in an emergency situation. Most people come here to see the historical monuments, but actually the plant has many interesting plants. And I think the most interesting one of them is white henbane, Hyosiamus um, albus. It's, um, it's a highly toxic and hallucinogenic plant related to black henbane, which um, grows in Northern Europe and is no, n known from Northern European witchcraft, but here in the south of Europe, in places like Spain, Morocco, or Croatia, or Italy, rather this species was used by the witches. 
and uh, it's, it contains um, tropane alkaloids, uh, hyosthiamine and scopolamine, which um, will give it high potency. So it was used um, probably by witches or so by bad people, evil people, you know, to um, intoxicate people. But also it was used in medicine, yeah, it was used uh, like other solanaceae toxic plants to induce this kind of state where, for example, you could amputate someone's leg or when the birth was very difficult. And so we're helping people in terrible pain because we're making you quite unconscious and the hallucinations you had were actually not related to, um, to what you saw. So maybe this plant growing here comes from some kind of um, medieval or ancient uh, herbalist garden here in, in Split. I, I, it's, it grows in other places Dalmatia but it's extremely rare and the only place in Croatia I know where it's common are the walls of the city. And most of, most of this plant actually grows um, on, the, on the walls so it's difficult to reach and sometimes you just find single specimens growing like here, just um, along the pavement. I'm here, a yew tree. These pseudo fruits are edible, but you, you should not swallow or um, bite the, the actual seed, which is toxic. Just eat the fleshy part. Another species here growing abundantly on walls is Parietaria judaica, the pellitory of the wall. This plant is kind of sticky, it sticks to your clothes, that's how it probably spreads. It's related to nettle and uh, here in Croatia it was widely used medicinally to cure kidney problems. A tea was drunk, is drunk with from, from the shoots of this plant and also it uh, was widely used to clean olive oil bottles because it's kind of scratchy sticky you would put it like a brush inside bottles it has many um, many uh, local uh, local creation names for example circfina another common plant in split is yucca which comes from um, central northern america and it has edible flowers. They have to be cooked first. And uh, yucca flowers are used in Mexico as food. But people in Croatia, of course, don't know that they can be utilized. Of course, uh, there's lots of rosemary here, everywhere in parks. So if you need some spices for sauce, just pick some rosemary, but not too much, of course. And be careful, uh, get nice ones. These are a bit yellowish. And be careful because here is another species very similar to it called Westringia. It's from the same family, but it hasn't got smell, it's not edible. So this is Westringia, it's got more round, shorter needles called coastal rosemary. And this is the proper rosemary, although this one is not very nice. Here you can see um, the rosemary flowers are more bluish, Westringia is more white. A very characteristic feature of Croatian coastal towns is the presence of these big trees. This tree is uh, Celtis australis, Mediterranean hackberry, European nettle, nettle tree. Uh, in um, Croatia they are called uh, Koprivic, Koscela or fafa, Fafaricul. Um, these fruits um, they are edible in the past they were commonly eaten by children and now not really no one really cares they just fall down uh, and you can use them also uh, in alcohol they give you very nice liqueur uh, it's a beautiful tree very resistant to air pollution so uh, planted in in uh, towns also it's resistant to pollarding so in the villages you can see a lot of trees planted which uh, had their branches uh, cut and they look like pollarded willows a bit. Um, a very nice raisin tasting uh, fruit. 
the next plant I often see um, on the coast and also grows here in a split between the old town um, and the city uh, city beach um, behind the, the bus station is true myrtle, Myrtus communis. Myrtle um, grows around the Mediterranean on the coast. It was highly revered in many countries. In uh, ancient Greece, it was associated with um, goddesses Aphrodite and Demeter, also important in Jewish purification traditions. You can eat the fruits. Now is October, the fruits are a bit tart. You should wait till November. But um, you can also make tea from the leaves. It has, uh, the plant has anti-inflammatory effect. The fruits, when they are ripe, collected like November, December, they are delicious um, for liqueurs. Really, really nice. You collect the fruits and put a lot of sugar and uh, just pour uh, grappa, rakia, and you get delicious uh, drink from it. Another interesting species I found here um, on the promenade is Tulbagia violacea. It's a um, um, perennial that looks a bit like wild garlic and it's actually called society garlic. It creates these clumps. Um, you know, it is not like a bulbous plant, it's more like rhizomes. And it really smells of garlic, very strongly of garlic. And um, um, it's used as an edible, edible plant in its native range in South Africa. Uh, little known in Europe, but actually planted in uh, the milder parts of, of, of Europe. And um, it's a real surprise to me, this species. And this is very interesting species of hawthorn, Italian hawthorn, Crategus azarolus, which occurs in uh, southern Europe, in the Mediterranean zone and in the Middle East, with very, very tasty fruits. Surprisingly, on the Riva I find another edible species. It's a weed, Viperus rotundus, coco grass, nut grass, nut sedge a common uh, weed in warmer parts of the world which produces edible tubers. The earth is very hard here, I'm trying to, struggling to actually dig out the tubers. They are a bit bitter but they were used as food since uh, Mesolithic and they are still used in, in, uh, as food in some parts of the world. Here in Croatia we also have one record from the island of Korčula of people using it. Um, it's it's amazing how you know you think you know all the plants in this place and suddenly you come across something that's just growing as a weed um i always look everywhere look at the ornamental plants because like uh here they have a lot of australian and south african interesting species i look at just natural vegetation but also in these kind of weedy places because sometimes you can find really interesting stuff here I tried to use the, the stick to dig out some of the of the nuts, the earth nuts from this sedge. Look, here they are. They're very small, very tiny, but nutritious. In the park in the town, yet another interesting species. Uh, one of the species of ephedra. Uh, also uh, a psychoactive plant like Yosiamus, this one is a stimulant, contains ephedrine and pseudoephedrine, which um, can sometimes are, uh, you know, transformed into other stimulant substances like uh, methamphetamine, for example. So, so this is a, um, then an angiosperm plant um, related to conifers, but it's like a, a very small shrubby plant growing on walls around split. Ephedra.